Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us another wonderful day to enjoy life. Thank you for the sunshine that give us new hope. We would like to start our day with your word O Lord, and ask your Holy Spirit to help us understand thy word O God, for us to be guided in our doings and goings today. Please forgive our sins God, and help us to be worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Through Stormy Seas when something bad happens to someone, Christians will often say, well, everything happens for a reason, or it must have been God's plan. But that's not necessarily true. Bad things happen to good people all the time. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you'll never experience pain, suffering, tears, or death. Good people die in auto accidents, get cancer, robbed, murdered, abused, or raped, not because it was God's plan, but rather because of sin. This is a sinful world, and it won't be without pain and heartache until Jesus comes. Until then, there's an ongoing battle between good and evil. God does have a plan for each one of his children, and he says specifically in John 10.10, 10, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. There's only one way to weather life's stormy seas, and that is to make sure Jesus is in your boat. Remember that ships don't sink because of the water around them. They sink because of the water that gets in them. Don't allow all the trials and trouble that the devil throws at you to weigh you down and cause you to sink into an ocean of discouragement. It's much better for you to go through turbulent storms with Jesus than to sail smooth seas without him. Trust God to navigate through every stormy sea. Give him your burdens, heartaches, and disappointments, and accept his gift of joy, for no matter what trial you are going through, Jesus is your answer. But he does want you to do your part, and that is to surrender and fully trust, obey, and follow him. God's not going to send you a text telling you to expect a package delivered to your door with everything you ever wanted inside. But he does want to give you the desires of your heart, as long as what you want is good for you. No matter what doubters may say, put your trust in God. Be like Noah, who had to put up with ridicule for being obedient to God, but yet stayed faithful. Sometimes faith will make you look stupid until it starts to rain. <laughs>